guys. This is Prasant from Tech Answered and let's get started. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about links in Linux. There are two types of links in Linux. First is hard link, second is soft link. Uh, for hard link, I will explain in another video along with the inode concept. So in this tutorial, we are only going to discuss on the soft link, also known as symbolic link or sim link. So what is soft link? So soft link is nothing but it is like a shortcut, okay? A link or a pointer to a file or directory, okay? Now, how to create a soft link? Okay, so soft link can be created by a command line utility called as ln command. Okay, so the command here in use is ln command. Okay, so uh, let us first understand the syntax of ln command. Okay, so for that we will use ln space options, then we will use file or directory. Okay, and then we will use the link name that we have to create. Okay, so this is the basic syntax for using ln command. Okay, so I'm going to create some symbolic link using this basic syntax. Okay, so the first thing uh, is, uh, let us see in which directory we are. Okay, so let us assume that I want to create a link for folder one. Okay, at this position. Okay, so what I will do is that I will just use uh, ln command. Okay, and I will use options which is hyphen s. Hyphen s will indicate that it is a soft link. Okay, so now we will copy this path. Okay, and I want folder one. Okay, and the link name should be uh, to folder one. Okay, so this is my link name. Okay, the moment I run this command, you can see a link will get created. Okay, so this link will nothing but it will simply be a pointer to this folder. Okay, so for example, if I go to cd2 folder. Okay, so if I do this, you can easily see now I am inside folder one. Okay. So you can also see if I just copy and go to this location, you can verify whether the contents are same or not. Okay, so as you guys can see here, the contents of this link, okay, and this folder, it is same. So this is how we create link in uh, Linux. Okay, let us consider another situation where I am uh, not giving the path. Okay, so instead of path, I am simply giving dot. Okay, and I am giving the link name called as new link. So this is my new link and let's see now what happens, okay? The moment I run this command, you can easily say the new link is creating a link and it is pointing to dot, okay? So dot means current directory only. So if you do not specify any path here, so it will eventually create a link with this name, whatever you will give with the path which is in the current directory, okay? So this is how we create a link in Linux. Let us consider another situation where I am trying to create a link, but the source is not a valid source. Okay, so let us say I have a folder, folder XYZ, okay, which is actually not present on my screen. And if I try to create a link for this, so let us see what happens. Okay, so now you can see the link got created, but the source file or source directory itself is not valid. In that case, the link will be considered broken. And you can see the color it is highlighting means you cannot use this link okay so eventually you have to clear this kind of link okay because it will show no such file or directory kind of error okay also guys if you try to change permission of a soft link you will actually be setting the permission of target okay so say for example this is our folder folder one okay and this is the link name to folder one okay so right now the permission for folder one is seven six and four Okay, so I want to change the permission. So let us see how, uh, you know, if we are changing the permission of a link, whether the link permission is changing or whether it is changing the permission of actual uh, folder or file to which it is referring to. Okay, so I'm just trying to change the permission using chmod command. Okay, so once I run this command, let us see what happens. So guys, now you see for folder one, the permission got changed to 640. Okay, and for the link, actually, the permission did not change. Okay, so this is what you have to understand guys whenever you have to uh, do permission change for a link It is meaningless. It is not possible and you will eventually be changing the permission of target folder All right, so how to remove links in Linux? Okay, so we can also remove a link in Linux using rm command Okay, or we can use unlink command 
so let us see uh, for both the commands so in order to do that let me just create one more link okay and i want a link for this file too okay so i can directly use file two because right now i'm at that location only and my link name is to file two okay so the moment i ran this command you can see a link for a file which is file two it has been created here at this location okay so how to remove links so first command that is unlink okay if i simply run unlink and i write to file two okay so the syntax is unlink a space link name okay so now you can see the link got removed okay now there is one more command to remove the link that is simple rm command okay so i i can simple simply use this rm command okay and okay so uh, there is an extra uh, slash came so we should not do that okay so that is the reason i removed the slash and now you can see the link is gone okay so guys also i want to you to explain one thing see here okay so link was starting with l okay so this indicates that the file which was created is a link okay the file which normal files will be created with uh, dash okay and directories will be created with d so this is the concept okay so guys this is for this tutorial in case of any questions feel free to leave a comment if you like my content make sure to share and subscribe i'll see you in my next videos thank you guys have a great day wow.